What's up guys, Eric here and Jenna with driverlineup.com, world's okay steering wheel holder. And as you can probably tell, we are at Campus Inn. Just had a great talk with some drivers, some people we know. And uh, shout out to Dennis. Dennis, <laughs> yes, it was awesome to be able to catch up with some folks. Um, but it's extremely hot, so I'm gonna try to be really quick with this video. The reason we're here doing this video is because Jenna shared with me <laughs> something that is unbeknownst to me is going around the internet like crazy that campus inn is apparently famously haunted <laughs> now I, I wasn't aware of this um, and everyone that we talked to outside was not aware of this so apparently all the people who believe this don't include anyone who's actually at campus inn um, but it was really funny so we did some research on it and Campus Inn used to be a. Um, it used to be Howard Johnson. Howard Johnson. I think it was called Bass Country Inn. Bass Country Inn. Yeah. <clears throat> and if you look this up, you can see pictures of it and everything. Now, one thing that I would notice about the the immediate inaccuracies is that the stories you see on all these big haunted places websites are listed from public comments, not people who have been students and this is not a public hotel. Well, yeah, but that, but what I was gonna say is okay. that they all allege that it's a quaint little motel that you can come stay at. Well, that's, that's what I'm saying about public. <laughs> yeah. it's not you cannot public. come stay at Campus Inn unless you are uh, supposed to stay at Campus Inn. So obviously it's Prime's training facilities drivers can get rooms here and stuff but it's just funny that to me all these websites that think they're being accurate about the information that actually have no idea you With this fake, is fake reviews from fake people saying, yeah. oh yeah I stayed there six months ago and it's like <laughs> but no, no so what are they saying about campus and being haunted well apparently there was a employee well what did he do there's a bus boy named Carl a bus boy named Carl Apparently, the most haunted part of Campus Inn is the cafeteria. Carl um, apparently likes to knock seasoning and stuff off shelves. Yeah. And basically, the things there there were now there's a couple things they described that proves that it's haunted, but they're kind of funny to me. One, th there's three that really stuck out to me. One is that they would be watching a TV and all of a sudden the channel would change. Well. I don't know about now, but when I stayed at Campus Inn and when we both stayed at Campus Inn, that's because they're shitty TVs. <laughs> and, <laughs> and the channel would definitely change or turn off or whatever well, because, while you're watching the TV. It'll like a channel will go out of service for some reason. Like you're watching yeah. like a HBO or something and it's like, eh, this channel's no longer available. So then it'll just kick to the next channel that's available. Cause just like when when you have like uh like your radio like you lose a channel and sometimes it's like scanning for another signal like it's that kind of a thing yeah like. the second thing they say is there will be out of nowhere and appear uh, what will appear is puddles outside of doors and around the motel again it's an old ass hotel or with, motel with like epoxy floor not carpet so like the flooring is like uh concrete with like you know um like when you do your garage and you have like the speckled flooring, it's like that. So it's like, okay, well, condensation, anybody in Missouri knows it gets really, really humid. So I'm going with, it's more likely just a yeah, environmental. There were, there were water puddles when I was here. It never crossed my mind that it was Carl. Um, <laughs> and then the third thing that really stood out is that there were people who said that their phone would be charging on a, on the uh, nightstand and an app would magically open up. And as I was just telling some other drivers, I wasn't aware that Carl 20 years ago Hi. knew how to run an iPhone yeah. <laughs> with all kinds of apps and was playing <laughs> Space Invaders and all that shit. So uh, it's more of the point is it's kind of laughable. Um, there were some other things that people were saying, like things falling off counters and stuff like that. Um, I don't know. I would just be curious to see what all you guys thought. Wanted to make a quick video. We're going over to see the truck well, here shortly, but things, uh, things on falling off of counters couldn't possibly have anything to do with the fact that Springfield is built on top of caves and there might be minor seismic shifts. Yeah, right? I don't know. Right? I mean, 
But to those of you, if you land on this page because you're not a prime driver and you're looking up to see if Campus Inn is haunted, <laughs> nobody that actually stays at Campus Inn or at least the vast majority of us are even aware that this stuff exists out on the internet. I had no idea. I've stayed at Campus Inn many times, weeks. There's just a hilarious thread on one of the prime groups that started quite a bit of conversation. And I explained, I'm like, look, to, to the best of my knowledge, any of the the crying sounds you hear at night are real life trainers and students crying over terrible days on the pad uh or and, studying, and studying for pre-trip pre <laughs> so the tears are real it's, it's not ghosts crying that's that's real people yeah so anyway <laughs> yes the internet believes that campus inn is haunted and is listed on many haunted places types yeah. type websites like legit they've actually put time into this mm -hmm. and doing research in the campus inn it's old they don't prime doesn't invest a ton of money in this hotel you're not getting 700 dollars tvs you're getting 100 dollars tvs you're like there's gonna be water leaking around here that doesn't prove anything so <laughs> i'm not saying it's not haunted i'm just saying for those of us who stay here all the time and are here all the time we ain't seeing the same thing the internet's seeing but I don't know, maybe some of you drivers disagree. Maybe you've seen some things. Let us know in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed we're, this quick we're update. We're looking forward to the comment section on yeah. this video. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this quick update. We're gonna go over stripes and stuff and see our truck and then take care of a lot of other stuff. And we'll get uh, our reveal video for both the exterior and interior here over to you guys within the next five or six days. So watch for that. Thanks so much, guys. Be safe, make good decisions, and as always, drive to thrive. We'll talk to you soon.